The World Day for Audiovisual Heritage is observed annually on October 27th. The World Day for Audiovisual Heritage was proclaimed in 1980 by the 21st General Conference. It celebrates the recommendation to safeguard and preserve moving images. When we remember the day, we remind people about the need to conserve and safeguard valuable audiovisual resources for future generations. In addition, the day represents an opportunity for UNESCO's member states to evaluate the implementation of the 2015 recommendation concerning the preservation of and access to documentary heritage, including its digital form. Further, the day fulfills UNESCO's constitutional mandate to promote the free flow of ideas by word and image to represent our shared heritage and memory. Audiovisual archives tell stories about people's lives and culture from all over the world. They represent a priceless heritage, which is an affirmation of the world's collective memory and a valuable source of knowledge since they reflect the cultural, social, and linguistic diversity of our communities. Conserving this heritage and ensuring it remains accessible to the public and future generations is a vital goal for all memory institutions as well as the public at large. This year, the theme of the World Day for Audiovisual Heritage is Your Window to the World. Audiovisual materials as documentary heritage objects provide a window to the world as persons observe events they cannot attend, hear voices from the past who can no longer speak, and craft stories that inform and entertain. UNESCO has created initiatives such as the World Day for Audiovisual Heritage, the Memory of the World Program, and UNESCO Archives Project, digitizing our shared UNESCO history. Through these, the work of preservation professionals is encouraged in order to manage the range of technical, political, social, financial, and other factors that threaten the safeguarding of audiovisual heritage. UNESCO established the Memory of the World Program in 1992. It promotes the preservation and access to humanity's documentary heritage. The main objective of the program is to ensure the preservation of documentary heritage, which has world, national, and regional significance. Another element of the program is to raise awareness in the member states of their documentary heritage, in particular, aspects of that heritage, which are significant in terms of a common world memory. The UNESCO Institutional Archives and historical audiovisual collections are a record of UNESCO's mission to contribute to the building of peace, the eradication of poverty, sustainable development, and intercultural dialogue through education, the sciences, culture, communication, and information. The multiplicity of analog formats in their audiovisual collections include films, videos, audio recordings, and photos dating as far back as the 1940s. Digital surrogates will contribute to the continuity of and access to the content, as well as to the preservation of the original materials by reducing the risk of damage incurred through handling, extending their longevity and historical value. The audiovisual heritage of Trinidad and Tobago is a rich one. Some organizations that have been tasked with the preservation of this culture are the Heritage Library of the National Library and Information System Authority, NALIS, and the National Archives of Trinidad and Tobago. In alignment with UNESCO's mission 
They fulfill their mandate through their organization's preservation of recorded sound and audiovisual documents. The National Library and Information System Authority has the mandate to maintain, develop, and make easily accessible to members of the public a comprehensive collection of material and information with particular emphasis on that produced within and about Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean region. In particular, the Heritage Library Division's mission is to preserve, promote, and exploit the national heritage information of Trinidad and Tobago. The Heritage Library facilitates this role by acquiring publications of CDs and DVDs from personalities such as Calypsonians in Trinidad and Tobago. One project that they have actively participated in is the Banyan Archive to digitize their collection. They also provide repackaged information and materials and organizing and dissemination of information through Nalys' YouTube channel, where they teach private individuals about preserving their material. The Heritage Library's audiovisual collection includes video and audio recordings that cover social, economic, cultural, educational, scientific, and historical issues. The National Archives of Trinidad and Tobago has responsibility for acquiring, preserving, and providing access to government archival records and other documentary heritage of the nation, and guiding in the management of current and semi-current government records throughout the public service. It sits administratively as a division of the Ministry of Communications and is the official custodian of the records of the government of Trinidad and Tobago and its citizens covering over 200 years of records from the colonial to the post-independence period. Following approval of the Public Sector Investment Program project, automation and digitization of the National Archives, the National Archives in collaboration with the Government Information Division, initiated a program to digitize and preserve at-risk and in-demand records for eventual public online access. As part of this program, the Digitization Lab of the National Archives was established to convert analog records, which are audio and video recordings, microfilm, etc., to digital records in both master preservation formats and access formats based on archival and digital preservation standards. In closing, we leave you with some titles you may wish to read. If they are not available online for free, you can always request a digital copy at the Documentation Center. You can reach us at unesco.info at moe.gov.tt.